If you're sending emails from your WordPress website, but they're ending up in your recipient spam folder, then this video is for you. This is very common with WordPress and the usual case is where your contact forms aren't sending emails out correctly. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I can fix that and make sure the emails from your WordPress website end up straight in your recipient's inbox. Let's get started. The underlying reason why these emails are not being sent correctly has to do with your WordPress hosting server not being correctly configured for email. And most email clients like Gmail have ways of determining whether an email is spam or not. And emails coming from WordPress commonly get flagged as spam and don't actually end up reaching the recipient's inbox. To fix this issue, we'll be using what's called an SMTP, and that stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And these will help us with our email deliverability to make sure that the emails end up in the recipient's inbox. And here we are on my demo WordPress website. All I've done here is install the Astra theme along with this amazing starter template that you can see right here. I just want to quickly demonstrate the contact form because when we currently type something into the contact form, it's not actually delivering to that person's email inbox. So let's go ahead and check that out. So right here, I'm just going to enter my name and email address right here. And there we go. I've entered in my name and email address. I'm just going to type in hello as my message here. And normally once this form is submitted, it should send a copy of that to whoever entered this in to this email address right here. So if I press submit here, there we go. Thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. And that should actually end up in this inbox right here for that email address. As you can see here, it's yesbsf at gmail.com. And that should technically send a copy of that contact form into our inbox. But currently it's not. And let me show you how we can fix that. So first we're going to go into our WordPress dashboard for the same website I just showed you. And next we're going to install an SMTP plugin, which will help us with our emails. So next we're going to go into plugins on the left hand side and we're going to press add new. From there on the right hand side, we want to search for fluent SMTP, just like that. And it's loading. And the one we want to use is this one here, Fluent SMTP. And the one over here, WP Mail SMTP, is also a great option to consider. But on this video, I'm going to use Fluent SMTP because I really like the features they have with this plugin. So once we have it here, we can go ahead and press Install Now. And we can also press Activate. And there we go. We have Fluent SMTP now activated right here. Next, we can go into the settings and begin configuring the plugin. And here we are within the Fluent SMTP settings. And right here, it gives you the option to choose from many different mail service providers. And in our case, we're going to be working with the email that we create on our web host. So we're going to go into other SMTP right here. And as you can see right here, we have a form to fill. But before we can fill this in, we'll need an email address that's associated with this domain name. And usually we can create a free business email address through our web host. Most web hosts do come with a free email option. So we can go ahead and create that right now. If you already have an email address associated with this domain name, you could skip to the next chapter. I'll make sure to leave timestamps on the progress bar below. All right, so I'm going to go into SiteGround, which is where my website is currently hosted. In SiteGround, under the Websites tab, you can see all the websites that are currently available in your account. And from there, we can go into Site Tools. And you can do the same thing with any other web host as well. All you have to do is log into your account and find the email settings for that domain you're working with. And right here, these are all the settings for that domain that we have. And on the left hand side, we have the email option right here. If I expand that, we can go into email accounts. You can see down here, I currently have one already made up, but we're going to create a new one just for the purpose of this video. With SiteGround, you can create unlimited email accounts for your hosting plan, which is really cool. To create one, all you have to do is enter your email account name right here. And as you can see, we have our domain name at the back of that email address, which is really cool. I'm just going to quickly type in hello at yesbsf.com. And I'm also going to enter a password for this just like that. And make sure to keep note of this password because we'll be using it later in the video. And next, I'm going to press create down here. And there we go. Our new email account has been created and you can see that right here as well. Perfect. Now let's go back into our WordPress dashboard once again and configure our Fluent SMTP plugin. So over here, we can type in that email address we just created. So it's going to be hello at yesbsf.com, just like that. And we're also going to type in the name for that email account. And this is going to be the name that shows up when people get emails from this account too. So I'm just going to type in just like that. And we're going to leave those as is. And down here, SMTP host, username and password as well. To get these, we can go back into our SiteGround account. And down here, where we created an email address, we can go and click on the actions beside it and go to our mail configuration. And over here, if we go into manual settings, we can find all the settings we need right here. And these are all the details we're going to have to input into back into our WordPress dashboard. Even if you're not using SiteGround, you should still be able to find your email configuration settings all within the email accounts menu. 
All right, so first we're going to grab the host, which is going to be the domain name. So it's going to be yasbsf.com, just like that. And the SMTP port, if we go back into SiteGround, we can see right here SMTP port is 465. So I'm going to go back in and enter that here. 465, there we go. And we're going to change the encryption to SSL. And that aligns right here, SSL on port 465. And that's perfect. We're going to leave these toggled on and we're going to proceed and we're going to enter the SMTP username. So if I go back to SiteGround once again, you can see right here, our username is hello at yesbsf.com. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that right here. That's my SMTP username and my SMTP password will be the same password we created when creating that email account earlier. I'm going to type that in. There we go. That's all filled in. And now we can press save connection settings. And there you go. Everything worked as it should and all the settings have been saved and our SMTP for that email address has now been set up. And what's really cool about Fluent SMTP is you have email logs. So what it will do is store logs of all the emails that are outgoing. So you can check and make sure that they're all working as they should. And you can choose to delete logs after a certain amount of days. You have seven days all the way to six months. And right now it's set to 14 days. So I'm just going to keep it like that. And now that it's all set up, we want to make sure that the emails are actually working. And for that, Fluent SMTP does offer an email test right here. So what we're going to do here is select our email address, the business email address we just created, which is right here hello at yesbsf.com and that's going to be the account which we send the emails from and once again here we're going to send it to that same email account we tested with earlier this one right here the gmail account and we're going to send that to that one yesbsf at gmail.com all right so now we can go ahead and press this blue button here to send a test email and if everything works as it should be doing we should get an email within our gmail inbox let's go test email has been successfully sent and we can go and check that in our gmail account here so if I refresh this, and here it is right here, we've got our test email right in our inbox right here. So if I open that, you can see, congrats, test email was sent successfully. So it's all working as it should, and that looks really great. So if I go back into my WordPress dashboard, we can also check out the email logs here. Right here, we have that email that we just sent, and the status shows that it was sent, and the date as well. So this way you can monitor everything that's outgoing from your WordPress website in terms of emails. And now if we go back into our WordPress front end and go back into that contact form, let's fill in the same way. We're going to type in the same email address as we did at the start of the video. And I'm also going to type in hello again, and I'm going to press submit. And if everything's working as it should, that email should also end up in our Gmail inbox. Let's go check it out. And there you go. It's right there. We've got a new simple contact form and everything we entered right there. We've got a receipt of that right in our inbox. And as you can see now, it's working. Fluent SMTP really helped us out and all our emails are correctly ending up in their recipient's inbox rather than the spam. If you had any questions or got stuck anywhere along the way in this video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to help you out as soon as I can. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to learn how to create a free business email account for yourself, you can watch our tutorial right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here so you don't miss out on any of our future WordPress videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.